Good morning. I want to show you a new way to create quizzes that allows you to have a little bit of um, opportunity to make adjustments in the quizzes. So for instance, if you're a teacher who likes to give partial credit for answers, this will allow you to do that. In order to get to this, you're going to go to your dashboard. And this is actually called Quizzes Next, and it's a in beta form for Canvas, but it will be coming out and pushed as the, a way to do quizzes soon. So this is an opportunity to kind of get a leg up on how to do that. If I go into the course that I want to use it in, go down to my settings, and here go to Feature Options, and turn on Quizzes Next. And you would have to do this for any course that you want to use Quizzes Next in, okay? So then once it's on, if I want to use Quizzes Next, the beta tool, I can go to Assignments, which is not like you're used to. You're not going to go to Quizzes for Digital to start with. Um, and then I'm going to add the Plus Quiz Test up here at the top. I'm going to name it something like I would normally do. So this is just like you would normally, but you notice the question paths aren't up here. So um, I'm going to call this Quizzes Next Demo. I'll make it worth the points I want. I'll assign it to the group that I want. So I'm going to assign mine to Quizzes. This is going to remain the same because this is considered an external tool to use the things that we're doing today. And then once I have it the way I want it, I'm going to click Save. Once it is saved, I then can go and start working on adding the information here. So please answer the following questions. And then I can hit Done. And I can do, for instance, a multiple choice. And I can say for question one, what is the term used to um, discern good digital resources? And then, actually, here, I would actually, forgive me, I would actually here put something very vague. So this is going to be about tech outcomes, because this is the way I'm going to find it later. This is where I'm putting the actual question. Sorry about that. And here, I can even add um, media if I want to. So I can browse what's on my computer. And import it there. Or if you notice, I can even do audio or video there. And then here, I'm going to start adding my answers, possible answers. And here's where it's where it becomes kind of neat. So I can vary points by answer. So I can go up here, and the correct answer is curation. So I could make that worth five points. But you know, I've been talking to him about how that's like funneling all the information in the world. So I could actually make this one worth a point if they chose that one. I can also shuffle choices here so that they're not going to show up automatically. I don't have to move them around. I personally am aligning them to an outcome. I've already pulled in my um, technology standards, so I'm going to browse those technology standards, and I happen to know that this is the one that CCS has adopted for students will critically evaluate a variety of digital resources and curate those resources. So I'm going to align that to that. These are optional. You don't have to do this. 
I'm just in, uh, at a place where I think, well, let's just go ahead and get that done so that I know when I've hit those standards that I want to hit. I can also add it to the, a bank so that I can go in and just pull it from a bank next time if I want to do that. And I've actually already um, created one, so I'm going to add it there. Or I could just do a new item, uh, item bank for each one. And then once it's done, I now have a quiz question that allows me to give partial credit um, based on what I've set it up as. So this is a really neat option that you don't have in just regular Canvas quiz.